Keep in mind that I will be giving away one Destiny 2 early access code for the beta in July, plus a Destiny 2 K6 action figure from GameStop. All you have to do is follow the steps on the screen. The winner will be chosen from one of the videos this week, so make sure you turn notifications on. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys the best strategies that we use for all three of the King's Fall raid challenges. Yes, it is back at 390 light, so this will help you no matter what the difficulty is. And guys, these are the exact strategies you see us using on our live stream. You guys see us using the strategy while we carry people, while we play with our best team. So we're sharing it with you guys so it can help you guys and you guys can share it with your friends so it can help them and save time in gaming so you can go spend time with your family or something i don't know whatever it is so we'll be talking about what weapons what classes we recommend what the challenges is and what the best way that we approach those challenges are so here we are in the war priest let's get started with this video so what we want always is tethers obviously weapons of light bubbles as well high impact snipers i would recommend a sleeper simulant or a galahorn both of those work very well and one thing you want to keep in mind is the challenge for the war priest is for when the person who gets tethered he must not get tethered again that's the person that's killing the ads to keep that prolonged damage phase going and what you want to do is make sure that you have a cycle to understand that you have three platforms one in the middle one in the left one on the right you want to divide up the team into three two people on each platform what you want to do is have a set person know when they're going to get on the platform and i would always recommend chronologically order three of your members to say hey you're going to get the tether first then you and then you keep in mind that the last person to finish the sequence will be the one that gets the tether so make sure that if somebody's already been the last person to complete the sequence he or she is not the same person to do so the next time around it should only take you two phases to kill him you can definitely do it with one phase with the correct weapons of light tether and sleeper simulant but keep in mind that it may go up to three or maybe even four phases so you want to know exactly what order is so communication is very key now let's talk about the Golgoroth challenge now the Golgoroth challenge is kind of like the hardest challenge I want to still say that Oryx is but a lot of people don't like this challenge I don't really understand why but I do know that there are a lot of moving pieces so one thing you always want to keep in mind is the more you stay alive the less pressure your team has I know that's common sense guys but it's very important to stay covered in in this fight unless you're a self res warlock there is no reason why you should be all about trying to be the shade step master or whatever the hell you want to call yourself don't do that for your team guys make sure that you have the gaze order set down for your team you want to make sure you're very verbal in this part of the raid honestly i would not recommend doing this part of the raid with people that do not have a mic because as you guys know when you catch golgroth's gaze you have a timer and you have to be very verbal with your team to know when the next person should go and get the gaze now one thing you want to keep in mind is the challenge for Golgoroth is that the same person cannot get the gaze twice so one thing you want to do is make sure that in one cycle everybody has their chronological order you cannot have two people swapping gaze back and forth you want to have the order so that everybody in your team can go and get the gaze and honestly it's very simple same mechanics as war priest here you want to make sure that you have tethers high impact snipers a black spindle does wonders during this part and also keep in mind that sleeper simulant will always be a go-to weapon and remember you'll see it on your screen as well just know how to get his gaze remember that you want to be on his backside have your team grab his attention on the other side and be sure to kill ads in between each round now one more thing you want to keep in mind guys is that i would say pick the gaze when there's five seconds or less don't wait till the last second sometimes it doesn't register and it can get a little glitchy now you will get exotics from this part of the raid and the part before you'll see it drop on your screen as well it's pretty damn exciting now we're going to talk about the grand finale this is the oryx boss challenge okay, so, this challenge uh, i think gave more people trouble than anything else i don't know why bungie said that the atheon challenge is the hardest challenge they came up with because this challenge gave so many people trouble we have helped so many people out in all of the raids in destiny now remember if you need help with trials or any raids make sure you read the 
description below and connect with us on our social media. It's very simple to get in touch with us and we definitely will find the time to help you out or we'll try our best. Now keep in mind, we get thousands of people that ask us for help, but as you guys know, we do our best to help as many people as we can, as you guys see weekly on our live stream. Now for this Oryx fight, it's very important to assign platforms to people. I would actually assign platforms just say front left, front right, back right, back left, and understand that the fourth platform does not need to be stood on. So keep in mind guys that the person that is running around with the relic should be very comfortable because if you mess that part up, yeah, it's a wrap. And if you don't know what the challenge is for Oryx, it is that you have to detonate all blights at the same time, which is 16 blights, 4444. At the end, you have to detonate all of them together, ultimately bringing Oryx's health all the way down until he comes resurrects himself and you just finish him off so one thing we love to do is make sure that you have two people on dps they're most likely either going to be on the top left and right pillar or on the ground if you have bubbles I always recommend the top pillar strategy if you don't have titan bubbles, but if you have titan bubbles, definitely be on the ground and kind of do what you see on your screen. Now, the people that are going to kill the ogres from their platforms, once the ogre dies, you want to make sure that you kill the ogre right as he's coming up. Those blights need to be relatively right on top of each other or their circles need to be connecting in one way, shape, or form. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult for you to detonate all blights at the end. Lastly, you want to make sure that you do your best to stay alive in this fight it's so key i mean it's in all the fights and i know it's a dumb thing to say guys but i can't stress it enough and i know many of you are going to agree with me if you do let me know in the comments below and make sure you smack that like button because god how many times have you been with the lfg team or even your best friend and that person keeps dying and you're like man i just want to boot you right now i would boot you so bad if i didn't know you personally i know we can all relate to that but lastly what you want to make sure is when you do get teleported in b very careful because the ads from the outside will be coming in unless your team is doing a good job killing those ads on the outside so make sure you are doing that for your team everything else is pretty self-explanatory make sure you do a steady countdown at the final round which is the fourth round where you go and finally ignite all the blights and take that oryx bastard down so make sure you guys hit a like and subscribe if you want more awesome destiny content for the best strategies whether it be trials or pve you guys know it's KO Gaming, we do our best for both, whether it be PvP Crucible or the raids, nightfalls, all that beautiful stuff. Everything is here for you guys on this channel. I love you guys so much. I really hope this video helped you guys out. I hope you guys can share it with other people so it helps them out as well. And once again, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't, join the family, and please connect with us on all our social media. It means a lot to us, and we are doing everything that we can to continue to grow this family. I love you guys so much for all the love and support. Snipes is out. By the way, I had an amazing birthday. If you guys didn't know, my birthday was April 10th. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support the donations and stream all just it really really humbled me it just warmed my heart up and i really hope and wish the best rest of the year for you guys and if any of you guys have birthdays coming up happy freaking birthday from snipes i love you guys we'll see you in the next video peace out